National Bureau of Investigation, Director Eric Isor, wishes to announce the uh, and confirm the uh, arrest of uh, Francis Leo Marcos. That's uh, the name given to us uh, in the booking sheet by the Computer Crimes Division under Chief Vic Lorenzo uh, today in Quezon City. Uh, Mr. Marcos was, uh, Mr. Francis Leo Marcos was arrested uh, pursuant to a warrant of arrest uh, issued by the Honorable uh, Judge Aida Rankel Roque. The warrant is uh, dated February 2018. This is uh, in violation of Republic Act 8050 or uh, the Optometry Law. We have other holdings and uh, we are verifying uh, the uh, holdings of uh, the NBI as against his uh, involvement in uh, other uh, activities. Uh, there, is, there is also a warrant being verified. Uh, this one was uh, filed by the NBI in uh, 2006, the warrant issued uh, for violation of the Anti-Human Trafficking and Persons Act. Uh, this is for qualified trafficking, so this is an available warrant for, for his involvement in uh, the recruitment of uh, uh, children. Also, there is a warrant uh, for violation of Republic Act 9262. Uh, uh, exploitation, uh, abuse, and uh, violation of women and children. This one is issued in uh, Japan, uh, in Japan City. Also, we are in the process of verifying the true identity because uh, we have been receiving reports that he had been using a uh, name before, uh, Norman Nakusip. Mangusin, Mangusin, sorry. The uh, person to my right, Mr. Francis Leo Marcos, is assisted by uh, his counsel, Attorney Vistido. And uh, the arresting division is led by no less than the Chief, uh, Chief uh, Big Lorenzo. The uh, accused in uh, the warrants, three warrants so far we have, is advised again of uh, his right to counsel as he has counsel, he is assisted by counsel. He is also again advised of his right before the media, uh, of his right to remain silent and of his right to uh, Again, to, to, to uh, not talk. Anything he says under our custody may be used against him in any, uh, in any uh, forum. Any questions? Sir, what is the background of the third case? Third one, the third one. Which one? The third one. The Last two, sir. Nine to six, sir. Uh, 2006, sir. 2006, uh, we have here the uh, agent who filed this case. He is now a chief, uh, agent uh, or chief Demetria. Chief Demetria. He used to be my agent. I understand that uh, I was the chief of the anti human trafficking division when we filed this case. Sir, sir. Uh, dito sa Manila. And uh, the agent at that time, who is now the chief, is uh, Agent uh, Demetria. Tapos sir, yung isa po yung Sagapan? <laughs> yung Sagapan, we are verifying the details of this case. We have a copy of uh, the warrant. This is a verified warrant. <laughs> this is for uh, 9262. Abandonment of women, abuse of women and children. Uh, you would like to say something, sir? If uh, um, accused uh, Francis Leo, 
Uh, okay. Would like to respond to the media? Um, ganito po yan. First and for all, wala po akong uh, kilalang tagagapan na kay Sira at hindi pa ako napukong tagagapan. So, may natatandaan lang po ako dyan na meron akong complain at natagagapan na kinasuhan po ako ng uh, stopper which is naglaban po kami sa korte at nanalo po ako, yung po ay acquitted. So, baka sila rin po yung may gumawa niyang violation of 926 ko na yan. Yan po ay hindi po talaga ako tagagapan, eh. hindi po po kilala kung sino yung nag nagsampa niyan. Regarding naman po doon sa Republic Act 8050, yan po ay noong 2010, uh, nung ako po ay namigay ng libreng optical mission sa buong Baguio City po. Which is kasama ko po yung mga doktor na yan, ang nagdemanda po ay yung may mga may-ari ng optical clinic. Dahil wala po silang kinikita, dahil ako po ay namimigay ng libreng check-up at libreng salamin sa mata. Ngayon po, dahil po yan, taon-taon kong ginagawa yung optical mission na yan, at least three times a week, at three times a year, pag tumikita po ako, uh, nung pong nag-humanitarian ako, the same thing sa General Santos, somehow in 2014, hanggang Coronadal, hanggang South Cotabato, uh, isinasampahan din po ako ng, uh, ng the same group, yung Integrated Philippine Association of Optometrists. At uh, yan po ay nakuhanan ko ng visit order, kay Judge Noel sa Jensa ng 2014. Ngayon, kaya po kanina, nung pumunta po sa akin si Chip Lorenzo, uh, sabi ko ako po isasama sa inyo at para liwanagin natin yung disease order ko at saka yung, uh, yung uh, disease order ko at saka yung uh, warrant of arrest ng violation of R850. Now, yung isa pong uh, warrant of arrest involving na uh, human trafficking, yan po ay wala po akong nalalaman at hindi ko po alam yan. Wala po talaga akong nalaman. Hindi po ako na-involve dyan sa kahit anumang illegal na aktividades. Hindi po tayo naging kriminal o hindi po tayo na-involve kahit po hold dapat o kung anuman. Tayo po ay masipag. Ka, masipag po tayo maghanap buhay. Masipag tayo magtrabaho. Ayun po. Yun lang po ang aking masasabi. The rest po ay uh, sabi na doon. Sir, may isang tanong lang po kasi may binagin si Sir Daging na meron din po silang question sa identity. Uh, ano po ba talaga? Uh, Sir, ganito po kasimple yan eh. Ako, ako po ay Marcos, ako po ay Marcos. Kung may problema po sa pagiging Marcos ko, dapat po nanay ko ang tanangin. Sapagkat hindi naman po ako ang gumawa ng pangalan ko, kundi po ibinigay po sa akin yan ng aking ina. Pero related kayo sa dating presidente ko? Uh, hindi ko po yan masasagot. Ang matasabi ko lang po, kung may question po regarding sa pagka Marcos ko, yan po ay ang aking ina. Ako po na nagkaisip ng 1997, yan na po ang aking uh, identity. Yan Francis Leo Marcos po na yan. Andiyan po lahat ng mga passport ko, magmula nung kung kaluma-luma ang passport, dala-dala ko po yan. Ayun po, ang aking magsasabi. So, ginawa po kayo ng effort para ma-identify dito at least may reklamo kung totoo man? Opo, opo. Ako po ay may complaint sa NDI po. Nag-email po ako sa kanya regarding po sa proliferation of those fake accounts. Na yung iba pa nga po, talagang sinasabi na ako daw po ay, uh, ako daw po ay, ano, na nanghihingi po ng mga donasyon, hindi po. Uh, nagkaroon lamang po ako ng tamang kaisipan ngayon pumutok yung lockdown at uh, sabi ko uh, gusto ko magkaroon ng kasaysayan ng aking buhay kaya po, yung pong pera at sagutin ko na rin mo ito uh, marami yung tatanong saan daw yung galing yung aking pera ako po yung nagbenta ng ari-arian ko na minana, uh, dito po sa Ramon Isabela last two years ago at yung pong isang bahay ko, ibinento ko ng halagang 40 million so medyo malaki-laki po yun yung 36 hectare na pinagbilang ko at saka ng aking bahay siya pong aking inuubos na pinamimigay ko sa taong bayan. Yun lamang po. Sir, for the record, hindi ikaw si Norman. Ah, hindi po. Hindi po. Hindi po. Sir Lovie, sir, uh, ano po mangyayari ngayon? Kasi available po yung galing po sa Baguio na warrant. Uh, pero meron po kayo yung mga uh, verified, may verified po na mga warrant against Mr. Marcos. Ano Siya po ba i-release? Uh, mga... We will serve these warrants uh, on this person. Okay, And since we're not available po yung isang complaint until such time po na uh, umabot po ito sa Until video. such time that the warrant is either recalled, lifted, or there is a post, a like court order by the issue report of the, uh, of the, uh, of the uh, warrant. Okay. Okay. Anything more? Clear up. For security reasons, we will have to take care of that. That would all depend now with the chief after consultation with us and the director. If we will be brought down to the jail.
But uh, we have some security considerations. Uh, titingnan namin kung uh, kasi may mga ibang uh, uh, high value detainees kami. So we will have to take that into consideration. Ano mo sa mga Mr. Marcos na nagkaway mga detainees niya? Ah, yung po ay hindi ko ko hindi ko ko masasabot kaya yan. Nagbogado ko na wala masasabot yan. Ang masasabi ko lamang po ay uh, Uh, yun po, uh, talaga pong tayo napag-iinitan lamang po uh, Pero wala naman pong problema, patutunayan po natin sa korte yan uh, Lahat ng mga aligasyon po yan okay. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.